Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you two versions of Big Sayoti. Big Sayota or Big Sayote is a river in, uh, which flows through Columbus, Ohio. And uh, I think most of the versions of this tune that we know come from the playing of Burl Hammonds, who was from West Virginia. And um, I think in the 60s and 70s he recorded several contradictory versions of this tune. And um, this is how we know that there are lots of different ways of playing it absolutely traditionally <laughs> correct. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to give you a version that I got from the J. Ungar Ali Bain um, recording with the Transatlantic Sessions. I'll do that first and then I'll give you a Matt Brown version which is based on one of those old recordings and is a little bit more crooked. So we're in the key of G and the main feature of this tune I think is the syncopation. Okay so let's go slowly through the first section. One, two, three. Okay, now to play this um, we can do some drones, uh, open G drones. So whenever you play that G note, you can have a G under it. On this note, you can either do a fourth finger, sliding up and playing unison, or you could do put a second finger underneath it and that has the effect of emphasizing the chord change. If you're playing with an accompanist then that's not necessary but if you're playing this solo then I think it's a nice idea to make that difference in the chord. The opening line I would slur those that triplet into the G. across the bar line with syncopation. Okay, into the next section, which is also slurring across the bar line. One, two, three. that line a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. And now let's play from the beginning with the backing.
Now, before we go on to the Matt Brown version, um, I did look at an Ian Walsh video where he gives a bluegrass approach to this, and the main difference is the very first bar, which is... So it's more smooth and flowing, it has less syncopation. It's a lot easier to play fast, um, but we're not going to do that version, we're going to go straight on now to Matt Brown's version. So there's a lot of small differences in this tune. The main difference is in the second section, but we'll come to that in a minute. One, two, three, four. <laughs> find the first three bars uh, it's quite tricky to get the melody into your head and you have to know what's coming so it's a very difficult line to sight read I find um, down once you've got that into your head then it's, it's okay but um, if you've just played the other version and you're not expecting it then that's really quite hard uh, let's just do that again one two three four Okay, second line, two, three, four. Notice there's two extra bars. Two bars have been repeated. And uh, discussing this, Alan Jabu, I think it was, uh, pointed out that um, Burl Hammonds basically played uh, how he felt like it. <laughs> and uh, he would do if he did it three, three or four times in a row, he'd do it differently every time. So um, if you have that attitude to playing, then you can more or less stretch it whichever way you want. Uh, it's when you, um, 100 years down the line, or 50 years down the line, you say, that's how it should be played. No, it's, it should be played like that. That's when you get into a real problem, because um, I think the person whose version you are copying would probably be laughing at, at the idea of you copying <laughs> exactly what they did on a particular occasion. Anyway, let's play the whole version through with the backing. to help keep them coming then do consider joining me on Patreon and one of the benefits of that is you will get a zip file with all 300 uh, PDFs that I've done over the last two years and lots of other benefits as well. Um, if you would like a copy of these dots in particular then uh, do subscribe to the channel and send me an email and I will send you a copy and I look forward to seeing you again soon.